close to our main event between John Duddy and Anthony Bonsante. For Anthony Bonsante, he will be walking into the lion's den here tonight. Virtually everyone in this arena rooting for John Duddy. But for the 36-year-old Bonsante, he thinks this is his moment. He believes that this is his chance to kick off what he hopes will be a two-year run in the sport of boxing. Still a festive mood here with this crowd. And here comes Anthony Bonsante as he makes his way in. The Minnesotan, who has 29 wins as a professional, comes in here with a three-fight winning streak, his last win over Matt Banda. A 10-round unanimous decision. He became known to the world as one of the personalities and fighters on the contender. He feels like he can still do more. He acknowledges that he has not quite stepped up to the plate when he's gotten other major opportunities, but he feels like this time he can do it. He's had seven weeks of solid training, concentrating completely on that training. Got a leave of absence from his job, and he thinks that he is ready to create an upset here tonight against John Duddy. You gotta know Bonsanti's gonna be in some condition here. He's gonna give it all he's got. Yeah. He's got his hands full. John Duddy makes his way into this ring to the support of his fans. This young man, 18 and 0, a 27 year old, ranked in two of the top tens, ready to, he hopes, not another important victory. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape between these two fighters. And we can see a slight height advantage for John Duddy as well as a reach advantage. He is the younger fighter, and I guess the question is, will he be able to use that height and reach to his advantage? Yeah, sometimes he doesn't use his reach enough. He's, uh, he's tall, he's got a great job, but sometimes he doesn't use it. It's not an important punch for him. It has to be tonight if he wants to do things neat and tidy and be able to catch Monsanto, who will stand and fight with him, his combination. I like how he sounds. I think he's learned a lot from his last fight. And I think he's going to take it into the ring tonight. With him. All right. Well, that is John Duddy. Anthony Bonsanti on the other side of it would like the seminal moment in his boxing career to be tonight. The stage is definitely set for this matchup. All that's left is to go to Joe Antonacci right now. State Athletic Commission, Ron Scott Stevens, Chairman. Boxing fans, this bout is scheduled for 10 rounds of action for the IBA Middleweight Championship. Tom Vaca, Dean Chance, IBA Supervisors. And for the WBC Vacant Continental Americas Championship, Steve Wallachow. WBC supervisor. 12 rounds of action in the middleweight division. Our judges overseeing this bout, Frank Lombardi, Tom Schreck, and Steve Weisfeld, and our referee for this bout, Steve Smoger. Introducing first in the blue corner. Comes to us tonight originally from Crosby, Minnesota, now residing in Shakopee, Minnesota. He weighed in at 159 and one quarter pounds. Black trunks with white trim. Professional record, 29 victories, eight defeats, three draws and 17 knockouts. Please welcome Anthony, the Bullet Bonsante. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He comes to us tonight from Derry City, Ireland.
He weighed in at 159 and three quarter pounds. Wears green trunks with gold trim. A perfect professional record. 18 victories, no defeats, 15 knockouts. Please welcome Ireland's John Johnny! Johnny, gentlemen, we're giving you instructions and addressing you. Please obey my commands, respect the bell, and above all, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, God bless. 12 rounds, middle weights. We're set to go. John Duddy against Anthony Bonsante. Duddy coming off a fight in which he and Yuri Boy Campos set the record. Four punches thrown in the middleweight fight, 696 combined between he and Yuri Boy Campos. That's what that man, Anthony Bonsanto, is facing. Very active fighter in Duddy. Will he box a little more tonight? Will he make this a brawl? We'll see. Bonsanto's leaving the jail. And kick him the clip with the right hand. Stayed out of the starting box like a sprinter, uh, Duddy. <laughs> <laughs> so much for the boxing. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's certainly pressing forward against Bonsanti. Bonsanti, the 36-year-old veteran. Good left hook from Duddy off a snappy jab. That's what he's got to do. Use that jab. He used his reach. He tended not to do that against Yuri Boy. He's got to reach with this guy. Early rounds, it would strike me very important for Bonsanti to get his footing and under to, to get this fight going his way. Yeah, he's got to have a bit of success to get his tail up to make him feel encouraged and to stay in there. Because uh, if Duddy starts nearing him with that jab to him and getting the, the right hand off after it, uh, it's going to be difficult for Bonsanti. Good left hook. That's three, three, three nice hooks. Yeah. You hear this crowd with its musical encouragement to John Duddy. You hear that throughout this fight, however long it lasts. Good first round so far for Duddy. Yeah, and the search of starts from Duddy. Snappy jabs, snappy hooks, everything's quick. Bonsante fought uh, only 62 days ago. He likes to fight as often as he can. He says he's a throwback. Right now, he's getting nailed with some big left hooks. <laughs> 12 of the 14 KOs for Duddy have been within the first four rounds. So he will get you out early often. Monsanto's been uh, not effective on the outside. Should he be trying to get inside a little bit more? Well, he's, what he's got to do is he's got to throw more punches back at John. John's uh, having a field day with him at the moment. He's got to get, get back in with his right hand. He's throwing only the left hand, Bonsanti. He's afraid to commit with the right hand because of pretty sharp left hook. But he's got good upper body movement, Bonsanti. He hasn't taken the full the full um, power of any of those punches as yet. And he's kind of, he's kind of feeling, they're feeling each other out right now. He's trying to size the other guy up. Yeah, Three good jabs up. by Bonsanti, though. Those are the best jabs he's thrown in the fight. Yeah, doubling and traveling the jabs. Snappy jab counter from Duddy. Snappy right hand too. You gotta see if Duddy can stay disciplined in the fight. Moments left to go here in round number one, and it's been a pretty good round for John Duddy as he starts off our main event. Step down a little. Keep moving your head from side to side. Step over to your right. You know what I'm saying? Because he's picking yeah, your head up. Get closer. Circle to your right. Circle to your right. Circle to your right. And then you make a miss. You get closer. Pick up. Right, right. Left hook and right important weapon for Duddy. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, a couple of impressive ones in this round. But what I liked was he at least paused with the left hand first to show it before he turns it into a hook. And downstairs as well, Jerry. He's trying to throw in his body shot to the left hook. Looks like the Cooney hook. It, it looks like the Cooney hook. That's right. Sure. Few had a better one than you, that's for sure. We head into round number two. He looks good. He looks so good. Yeah, he looks nice and sharp in the opening round, but long way to go, so he's just got to keep on top of things. 
We had him in second round, John Duddy in the green trunks, Anthony Bonsanti in the black trunks. Duddy landed 15 of 31 power shots in round one. And of the 38 punches Bonsanti threw in the first round, 35 were jabbed. So he's thrown virtually nothing else. At the moment, he's too cautious. He, um, he's afraid of that right hand from Duddy. And when he did open up once or twice, Duddy was able to nail him with the right hand. But he's got to throw more punches if he hopes to stay in this fight. Here's Bonsanti with a right hand. Anthony said this is a must win for him. He feels like a win in this fight could catapult him to at least a year or two of better fights, and it certainly would do that. There's the left hook, uh, which misses, but at least Bonsanti is mixing up his arsenal and his attack. I'm looking for Duddy to start working the body as well with the right hand as well, bringing the left hook up as well, because, yeah, good, nice little corkscrew left uppercut there. Working better. He's much sharper this time. Short, crisp right hand lands again by Duddy to the head of Anthony Bonsanti. Bonsanti's got some good defense. Yeah, he's definitely got a tight defense, keeping those hands up high, taking the sting out of most of those punches. Bonsanti, a good veteran fighter. Uh, yeah. Oh, good right hand from Bonsanti. Good hook from Duddy. And Duddy came back in the left hook. Halfway through round number two, and they are going at it here in the second round. Bonsanti is blocking those most of, of Duddy's good shots. Bonsanti slips a right hand from Duddy, and Duddy, a great combination puncher, continues to throw. Duddy's, Duddy's defense is much better this time, but. He's got to learn to get those hands marginally higher, tuck them in. Just do what Bonsanti's doing with his, with his, with his dog, he's blocking the head, moving his head, and then keeping those hands up there when he goes down either the side. Bonsanti jab effective, but it is not leading to other punches right now. There's no punch! Very There's good. about a half a minute left to go here in round number two in this scheduled 10 rounder, our main event. Professional Gil Clancy's at home right now watching the fight with his daughter, Kathy Burke. Professional Lord Gil Clancy out there. Absolutely. He's one of the great trainers and commentators in the history of the sport. And of course, he works with you so well. Great combination there from Duddy. Looking very impressive. Again, dominating the show. Seconds left to go in round number two. And Duddy tries to close it with a flourish. from the last round and this fight's heating up pretty well through round two we should say and uh Bonsanti getting a little more done in the last round and a little more done early in this round as well oh he's trying that right hand again Bonsanti they instructed him to throw it Bill Payne in the corner I think it's a body shot but so he's trying to Variety of punches to try and prize Bonsanti open. He's got a very good defense tonight, Bonsanti. He's tuck it up nice and tidy. So he's gonna try and prize him open with a combination of a variety of shots. Combinations. Duddy continues to throw those combinations. That's his calling card. The Bonsanti jab has been effective and from time to time has led to the late right hand. Yeah. He's been overwhelmed at the moment. He's just got to he's got to get that right hand off more often He's waiting too long and, and uh, Duddy's just overwhelming him with combinations One of the things that make John, makes John Duddy a very very interesting fighter is the sheer volume of punches he throws Which you don't see often even at the middleweight division Yeah, he's a busy bee, isn't he? Halfway through round number three and this Scheduled 10 rounder, Anthony Vincente, the 36 year old venture, trying to hang in there with Duddy and doing a pretty good job here in round three. Uh, good left hook from Duddy off that counter right. Good jab from Vincente. Yeah, Vincente's still in it. He's found a home for that punch, and if it will lead to the right hand a little bit more, he could turn this into a very interesting fight. 
no signs of any cuts uh, on Duddy yet. Of course, he did cut against Kellis. Monsanti getting there with the right after he threw a left hook to the body with under a minute left to go in round three. And Anthony Monsanti making a case for himself to maybe win this round if he can keep it going. And good composure from, uh, from Duddy. Yeah. Close round here in the third round. Very Duddy campus like. Steve Smoker, the third man in the ring, one of the very best referees in the sport of boxing. But he's going to work the body more. He's going to take those hands down. He's going to try the right hand instead of waiting to get the left hook up. He's going to bang that right hand he's the body. To you. Why wouldn't anyone listen to Barry McGregor? <laughs> Just seconds remaining here in round number three of what has been a very interesting round, third round. One in which Anthony Bassanti maybe established some beachheads for himself. Yeah. Much more success in this That's the way. Start selling now, not to take your time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Take your time. You're trying too hard. You gotta relax. You're not relaxing. You're trying to. You're looking for a knockout. Yeah. Take the crowd out of your mind. Yeah. The crowd don't hit your mind. All right now, now W jab. You're going one jab at a time. W jab. Go to the body. Yeah. Cut the ring off. Don't worry about hitting him. Make a miss and go to the body. Yeah. Make a miss. You go three rounds of body set. You get rid of this guy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, only thing he looking, he looking to survive. You want to hear survivor? He said he is about he ain't coming yeah. to win, he coming to survive. W jab. There's another good right hand for Bob Asanti in that round. Yeah, he tried the body shot with the right hand. He doesn't have a lot of variety, but uh, he's uh, he's using everything he's got here. And Santi is uh, making a really good fight of this definitely so come to fight. He certainly has. We head into round number four. I'm Al Bernstein along with Barry McGuigan and Jerry Cooney here at ringside and also Tony Page who has been handling all the interview duties and uh, now, got in round cut, very, cut. very interesting cut. numbers as uh, there's a cut that develops around Bonsante's eye. Uh, the numbers demonstrated that Bonsante did pretty well in that last round. I think it's on his forehead. Yeah, it is up there. Maybe a clash of heads. Harvey Kite said he's got to stop trying to knock him out here and just concentrate and get his boxing together because he's trying to land a big shot all the time, John. He's just got to let his shots go more. Bring him up and down, be half a right, particularly work the body with the right hand from a distance. And it's very interesting. I listened to the commissioner yesterday about if the fight gets stopped on the butt, it has to be at least half, half the fight. It does indeed have to be half. Oh, left hook! Nice Beautiful shot. left hook from, from uh, John Dunny. Another left hook, he's in trouble! Duddy going to work, so extolled by this crowd to try and create a knockout with the blood flowing from the forehead of Anthony Bonsante. He's in trouble here. He's in trouble. Body work. He got 140 in the right left, and he's in trouble, Bonsante. Left hooks raining on Anthony Bonsante here in round number four. Serious turn of events after Bonsante had appeared to get back in this fight in round number three, and now here in the fourth, Duddy dominating. Good left hook again. Showed him the jab, followed whipped in the right left hand. hook. Yep, followed by a right hand. He's really opening up now, Duddy. He's got a real bit of success. Started with that left hook. Left uppercut on the inside, and Bonsante, who held on before, gets whacked to the body with a left hook by Duddy. The blood's got to be going through his eyes. He's got to get blind in there. He's looking at pitiful sight. He's in trouble. Legs are still a bit groggy. Duddy coming on. Home in Bonsante trying to survive this fourth round. It's been a very difficult one for him. The cut emerging on his forehead and then getting rocked by a series of left hooks by Duddy. And also blood from the nose, I believe, as well of Bonsante. So good right hand again from Duddy. Quick with the right hand over the top. Left hook again. Bonsante landed a nice right hand, but it did not stop Duddy. And John Duddy came back with a couple of big power shots. Remaining seconds here in round number four, one that Bonsanti would love to forget, at least would love to get over with. Let's get in his eyes. Bonsanti still trying to just survive. And he does it through round four. I can't see. Oh. I, like 
thought Johnny would stay composed. He didn't get in there a bit too well. Well, Santi's saying he can't see. Wipe that blood off. Wipe that blood off. May have been right. a clash of heads here that created the cut. Yeah. Right well, it was actually Bonsante pulling Duddy's head into him. Duddy just poured all over him when he had him in trouble. He was distressed. It was a great left hook. He hit him with, and he just he just poured all over him for the end of the round. Confusion in the Bonsante corner. What's happening? so far for him. You staying in front of him. Uh -huh. Starting to stay in front of him. And you're getting caught with the stupid. Yeah. 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 Right. What happened? What happened? The headbutt is the plays no role. You lose by TKO. You gotta come out. Let me go. Come on. Headbutt no role. Anthony Bonsante comes out. For the sixth round. Blood streaming from his forehead. A little blood from the nose as well. And he's taken some major shots from John Duddy, but he fights on, and you look at the total punches, and you see that Duddy dominant so far. Almost twice as many punches landed by John Duddy. <laughs> it's 12 rounder for Duddy's IBA title. Duddy, of course, looking for a major world title, one of the WBC or WBA or IBF variety. Just missing with the hook there. Quick step. 
Tony ranked seventh by the WBO, ninth by the WBA, 14th by the IBF. He feels he's still a little bit away from challenging for a world title, but right now he's rocking Anthony Bonsante, that's for sure. Step, step. Yeah, he's a, he's a way away from the title fight. You know, from the, from the WBO, WBA, IBF titles. He needs, he needs a bit more schooling, but he's coming on and making progress all the time. Refreshing, he said the other day, he said, hey, I'm just trying to be the best I can be. I want to find out how good I am over the next year. And uh, that's clearly what this is all about. Yeah, he's real honest. He's a, he's a great integrity the kid. He's a great right hand over the top and left hook to the body. He's mixing the shots up really well this time, picking the shots better. He's trying to counter punch and um, Bonsanti trying to nail him. Referee Steve Smoker, we've been told, has uh, declared that it was an accidental clash of heads that caused the bleeding. So if that would make this fight stop, he would have to get to the bell opening round seven for them to go to the scorecard for that. Right now, Bonsanti is getting nailed with some big shots. Santi having some good moments there, but did not hurt John Dunn. It's almost like John let him hit him. Yeah, well, he shouldn't be doing that. That's not a wise thing to do. Big uppercut by Bonsante. So Anthony Bonsante getting himself back into this fight right now. That uppercut may have been the more telling blow of what he's landed. A lapse by John Duddy here in round six. Sort of, yeah, lapse in concentration. He switched off for a second. And the Bonsanti jab continues to land. So, while Bonsanti's had more than his share of difficulties, he's had some good moments here in round six. He's not too happy. One more shot. If you tell me you can't see, I gotta stop. You gotta stop it if you can't see. Can you see? Tony, yeah. you gotta throw okay. that right hand behind the jab. You gotta throw that right hand behind the jab. Do you hear me? Fine. Put together some fast combinations. And you pull back at an angle, Tony. Some good moments for Anthony Bonsanti. Yeah. Too many of them. John dropping his hands is silly. He let them puck shot on him. It's uh, well, not, not, not too many for Anthony Bonsanti. <laughs> I want I think to think that has been coming up pretty well. Yeah, he's trying to, he's, he's having success on Sunday with the uppercut. Trying every shot in the book there. So good moments at the end for Anthony Bonsanti. We head into the seventh round. Great hook results out there. And now, now it is official that if they were to stop this fight because of the blood streaming down into the eye of Bonsante, they would go to the scorecard. There you see the numbers of the punches landed uh, through uh, round six. Give Anthony Bonsante credit for courage and integrity. He could have wanted this fight stopped and gotten the technical draw out of it. Instead, he was the one that said to his corner, I want to keep going. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's a very courageous guy. You know, I, I was surprised a lot of the the boxing aficionados didn't give him any chance here. I just thought he's a very tough guy, he's stubborn, determined, and he's putting up, put up a really good fight here. And he's got, you say a couple just, of reasons to get out of. Yeah, absolutely. You're right, Perry. And and I think it just speaks volumes about him that he didn't want to just go away and get a technical draw and be able to to brag about that and say it was okay. Look, a big uppercut by Bonsante. He is landing some significant punches right now. Duddy lands a major right hand. Well, he tried an uppercut again. He hit, hit Duddy again. That's three times he hit him with the uppercut in this round. Bonsanti's found a home for that punch, and it's made round the end of round six and round seven pretty interesting. Good head movement from Duddy. He's got to get those hands higher. Nice jab by John Duddy. Push off, punch, push off. So here in round seven, Anthony Bonsante might be having his best round of the fight. Yeah, good body shot from Duddy's hurting. 
Asante, the 36-year-old veteran from Minnesota, wants eventually to run for office in Minnesota. For the state rep, says, I'd like to be a U.S. Senator someday. But right now, he'd like to see if he could beat John Dunny. John's getting a bit tired, a bit fatigued, the hands are coming down a bit. I don't think Anthony would get too many votes in this building. <laughs> Absolutely not. But, the, but certainly he's earned the respect of this crowd and everyone. Without doubt. Good right hand by the guy. Good performance, good work from Dunny. John's got to get a hold of the fight again, just got to get, get a grip of it, just get in control. Half a minute left to go here in round number seven. It's a match that has been controlled for the most part by John Duddy. But in round seven, Anthony Bonsante, just when it looked like this fight might even end because of the blood coming down from that cut on his forehead, has found renewed energy. Big right by John Duddy at the end of the round. So we're still going after round seven. When you, when you back up, the hand, the hand is just, yeah, trying too hard. Trying too hard, relax. I need to breathe and relax. You still put, you still put too much power behind your punch, all right? Hold on, I'm reaching. I'm reaching. You're winning every round. You see what I'm saying? Get rid of him. Yeah. All right, get it over. Looking in, will this fight continue? They are talking. They want to look at Anthony Bonsanti. He doesn't want to give them the chance. He wants to get out there and fight. And this fight will continue after a little bit of drama and suspense. We head into round number eight. Right hand by Bonsanti. Now we lay hand on the one to the head of Duddy. Coming back. John's going to get those hands up again. We could be poised for a very interesting finish in this fight. Oh, Tremendous right, right again by Bonsante. Of course, your boy Campos landed some big rights, and here's Bonsante doing exactly the same. There's a palpable difference in this fight since the end of round six. Bonsante believes he can land, and he's throwing with conviction. Clearly, Duddy would be way ahead in this fight still. He's nice not sure about that. Amazing. Like that but he's getting tired again, and the hands are coming down, and he's not using enough lateral movement, and he should be putting more than two punches together. He should be running off combinations you're, of three and four. You're talking about John Duddy. You're talking about John Duddy, that's what I'm saying. John's he's working the body a lot more. Yeah. He's got to run them together. He's much, much better when he punches in bunches. Right hand gets in by Duddy as Bonsanti stays, Bonsanti stays on the outside. Hook on the inside again, that uppercut by Bonsanti. He has found a home for that punch. Steve Smoker getting in there to break the two. Smoker looking at the blood of Bonsanti. Now, Anthony Bonsanti would have hated if they would stop this fight because he would most likely lose on the scorecard. Major ups, uppercut by Bonsanti. They are going at it now here in round number eight. Wow. Another uppercut by Bonsanti. His face is caked with blood. He's coming back, he's strong. Strong's up in a bit, tired and fatigued. Good right hand over the top. Now that cuts in a spot where they seldom stop fights unless Bonsanti says he can't see because of the blood. Which I don't think he's gonna say. Right hand on the inside by Bonsanti. Under and over, right hand. Man. This fight is becoming a throwback. Those hands are beginning to roll. Oh, great right hand over the top, just as I said that. Duddy landing a nice right hand. No jabs from John Duddy. He has nice really put that punch in mothballs. There it is. It's coming, Duddy. Here we come, yeah. About a half a minute left to go nice in this extreme. round. It has been an exciting one. You can press my round eight in your memory books because this has been a fun and interesting round to watch. Oh, he's getting tired, those hands are dropping him, but he's got to get those hands back up. Final check has got to use boxing. He's got to start setting the guy up with the jab. Stop. Round number eight. What a 
great passes play. into the night, and you're right, Jerry Cooney, it was a good one. It's crowd appreciative. You're standing directly in front of him. I told you, look at me. You got to move out of the way. Yes. You're not moving. So, Don't say yes, do it. I will. Move. Move your ass out the way. You got to move. You're not moving. I will. You listen to what I'm saying? Do it. I will. D do it. I'm doing I want you to do it. I'm do Get it. rid of this dude. He ain't got no business hanging in there this long. Move. Stop standing in front. When you finish punch, just step over. Yes. You know what we've been working on. Yes. Step the hell over. Sorry, hi. Yeah. Come on. Get rid of him. He's desperate. You fighting a desperate man. You fighting a damn man, a dead man that's trying to come back from the dead. He's desperate. Yes. Now get out there and put it together oh, and get rid of this dude. You Can I have a word with my coach? Yeah, go ahead. Cody, put those fast combinations together when you can. I got it. Uh, second two. being paid in the Bonsanti corner to the cut. He wanted some advice from Bill Kane. He said, hey, can I talk to my coach here, guys? We head into round number nine. Lots of drama here at Madison Square Garden Theater. Al Bernstein along with Jerry Cooney, Barry McGuigan, and also Tony Page. In round eight, you see Bonsante only landing two fewer punches. He was right in there for that round. A very, very close round. I give that an even round, but uh, John has come out very purposeful in the ninth. Clearly, Duddy would be ahead probably in all the scorecards. Oh, left hook from tremendous oh, hook by Bonsanti. A gutsy performance by Bonsanti, that's for sure. Bonsanti. He has not been able to knock out the top fighters he has faced. So he's not a monstrous knockout puncher, but he does have some pop in his punches. Well, no question about it. He's not a devastating puncher, but he's a solid, heavy-handed guy when he wants to be. Let's give him a lot of trouble. Really, really a tough, tough situation for him now. They may have to stop this fight because of the blood coming in his eye. He's wiping it away. And oh, it, that took that's so a beautiful hook. John Duddy blasting him with that left hook. They may stop in the middle of this round to take a look at Bonsanti. Bonsanti's got a chin, I'll tell you. He's been hit flush several times. Hands up, hands up. A reminder that cut came from a clash of heads earlier in this fight. If they stop this fight because of it, they would go to the scorecard. Referee Steve Smoker acknowledged it came to an accidental clash of heads. Duddy has controlled most of the round. And now Bonsanti just using all this ring, and Steve Smoker will have them take a look at the cut. track meet using all of this ring and now he's getting whacked with left hooks by Duddy and holding. Don't tell me Bonsanti can't hold a shot. He's been hit flush here several times. Duddy has got a great left hook. He's a tough guy, Anthony Bonsanti, that's for sure. He wants his fight there. He said Bonsanti. it was the most important fight he could possibly have and he's shown it in his demeanor here tonight. He beat Tony Ayala Jr., or older Tony Ayala Jr., in 2003. Went 12 with Peter Manfredo Jr. <laughs> On the contender, he lost to Jesse Brinkley in a very disputed decision. And his big moment sometimes has not come through, but tonight he's showing a lot of courage. Tony, can you see? Quick, quick. Well, then you 
can't fight, Tony. If you can't see, you can't fight. I have, I have to make that call, Tony. He's been saying that since the second round. Yeah. You want to fight? He's going to stop it when you can't see, Tony. He's got to stop it. If you can see, he'll let it go. But you're way behind, Tony. You're way behind on it. No. All right, if you can't see. That's it. That's it, That's it Bobby. Stay That's right it. here. It's going to be stopped because of the cut. Stay here. That's it. You made the call, Tony. Don't worry about it. Where's Rod? Can't see you. This fight will be stopped. They okay. should go to the scorecards. The fight is over. We're going to the cards. Accidental headbutt. Would you go over here and tell me the cards? Please. Tell Steve me the Smoker cards. has explained at ringside that the fight will be stopped. They will go to the scorecards, which in all likelihood will mean a John Duddy victory. Let's listen. Sake, he is distressed. He wanted to continue right. showing a lot of courage we're going and to the cards. I think integrity as well. We're going if, to the know, cards. They he's what score. boxing's all about, them. really. It's, it's a great shot for both of Tony, them. Hell of a fight. Hell of a fight. Hell of a fight. Hell of a fight. It was a tremendously courageous performance from, from Anthony Bonsante. He couldn't see, he talked to me not being able to see from the second round, yet he fought on bravely and battled away. And uh, for that, yeah, he really did. I mean, it was the last couple of rounds where he really produced a fight with caught with some really first shots and fought back and hurt John Duggan. So, yeah, very brave performance. So, but I have it 89 84 to Duddy for what that. Yeah, there's very little question, I don't think, that John Duddy is probably going to get this decision. He controlled most of the fight, uh, and, and most of the round, excuse me, in the fight. It was very, very effective. Tony, nobody can take it away from you. Cut it over here, but you are The final numbers of this fight are certainly important because they will kind of demonstrate how decidedly Duddy controlled things. He landed uh, almost 100 more than Bonsanti. That margin was bigger until the last couple of rounds. And uh, in terms of jabs, Bonsanti with the edge, we saw him throw a lot of jabs, but clearly more punches landed by John Duddy. And an act of uh, class by Anthony Bonsanti. Joe Antonacci is ready with the decision. Boxing fans, we go to the scorecards. Judge Frank Lombardi scores the bout, 89-82. Judge Tom Schreck scores the bout, 88-83. Judge Steve Weisfeld scores the bout, 90-81. All for your winner by unanimous decision. He is the IBA. And the WBC Continental America's champion, Ireland's John Duddy! This capacity crowd got what they hoped for a win by John Duddy. A lot of work for the judge. It didn't come easily against Anthony Bonsanti, and the pain etched on the faces of Bonsanti's children certainly told his story eloquently. But for, and I think Anthony Bonsanti won some friends here in Madison Square Garden, but that man, John Duddy, gets another W next to his name, and it's an impressive win for him, to be sure. Your guy. in a moment to uh, talk to John Duddy. Our own Tony Page getting ready in the ring. And in fact, I believe he has John Duddy. Let's go to Tony Page. Thanks very much, Al. You just don't make it easy, do you? Well, what do you do? I only came here, he was gutsy, you know, unfortunately. There was a clash of heads in the, in the second round, I think. And I don't think it was on part of me, it was the, the, the two of us, you know, but Anthony even apologized to me in the next round. He said, sorry about that head. And, and he came the worst out of it, you know, when, from then on, no, he, he tried to keep moving and was very negative and I was trying to chase him down and even at one stage, he was on his bike that much. I was kind of going, this guy don't want to fight no more. But uh, fair play to him, he was gutsy. He, he, he wanted to come here and try and survive and he did. 
And unfortunately, it was, it was stopped on a te the technicality. But I, I think I won each uh, every round. I think I was a little bit rusty. So I was from being out so long. But Harry's going to uh, kick me tail when I get back into the gym again. So we're uh, going to put on a better performance next time out. Harry was telling me, I heard him yelling at you that you weren't following the game plan. Seemed like you were under control early. You were counterpunching even. Yeah. Then you got a little sloppy, I thought. Yeah, yeah. Well, I suppose I was trying to land the big one and trying to, trying to cut it quick, you know. And instead, I should have just let me punches do the... Do, do, do the work for me, but I could see that uh, Tony was slowing up. I could see that he was slowing down on, on moving on his bike continuously. And uh, I was just trying to, la, la, rather than let me uh, throw in combinations, I was just trying to catch him with one or two shots. And in this game, you can't do it. But Harry's going to uh, take care of that when we get back to the gym and kick my ass. Uh -huh. Rate yourself. Did you give yourself a passing grade even though you won? Well, I, I think it was a passing grade. You know what I mean? I never take as many shots as I should. I sort of, when he was going and running that much, I sort of stopped him. I even let him hit me a couple of times, which he shouldn't be doing because I thought this guy's not going to throw any punches but at the end of the day he came here to survive he'd done his job unfortunately uh, he wanted to, he, every time we got close he was holding on to me tight saying I'm not going to let you do it I'm not going to let you do it unfortunately he didn't let me do it the way I done it but he couldn't continue he got you with a couple of jabs you weren't moving your head too much well I was moving it enough but he was throwing a couple of jabs but if you could see there was nothing on them you know what I mean he was just kind of flicking them out there and I was just trying to uh, get, trying to get get him uh, used to throwing it so I could counter over the top yet but he's a you know what I mean he's an experienced fighter and I still I still uh, I'm glad I had that victory I thought it was well in control but still more things to sharpen up on hey, last question in the movie Jaws Roy Scheider said we're gonna need a bigger boat when you fight in New York seems like we need a bigger building oh uh, definitely well I'm not as big as Jaws but uh Definitely, uh, I think that the crowd tonight were tremendous, and uh, hopefully we give them an event worth uh, worth here coming to cheer for. Thanks very much, John. Thanks very much. We go down the ringside in Al Bernstein. John Duddy winning by wide margins as this fight was stopped due to the clash of heads in the cut on the head of Anthony Bonsante. This is exactly how it happened. Bonsante and he clashed heads there. That was early in the fight, created that cut. Bonsante was able to press on past the point where it would have been a technical draw, and then this a poignant scene with Bonsanti and his children. He's a good family man. We mentioned he's a supervisor at Kmart. He uh, wants to go into the world of politics, would like to run for school board because these two youngsters are so involved in school activities and uh, that's a very poignant scene. And in fact, the man who enacted that scene is with our Tony Page right now. Tony? Thanks very much, Al. I'm here with, with Anthony and his, and his kids and a hell of a performance, man. It was a great fight. I wish I could have gave the crowd more, but we got an accidental headbutt. Johnny didn't mean it. He apologized. It was accidental. And I, it wasn't the cut. It was the blood dripping down from the cut in my eyes. And then that last round, I was consistently wiping it out. I couldn't see a damn thing. It's not the cut that stopped the fight. It's the blood in the eye that stopped the fight. But your heart came out when the blood came out. Yeah. You know, if I see blood or if I taste blood, you got to fight. You just got to fight. But you throw all boxing aside, it's all heart and determination. Unfortunately, I just couldn't overcome the blood in my eye. I wish I could have, but I couldn't. I'm sorry. What's the game plan when all that blood's coming down? Game plan is just to, you know, there's no boxing involved. You just go out there, you throw punches. If they land, they land, because half the time I couldn't see, see anything. You know, and I, there was a couple of times after the blood started flowing that I actually got to Johnny and I hit him. You know, but he's a tough kid, he's a warrior. I wish him the best of luck. He was gracious all throughout this, the pre-fight press conference, everything. Irish Ropes did a wonderful job. They were great to my kids, my wife, my family. I'm glad I got to fight Madison Square Garden. I wish Johnny the best of luck. He's a tough guy. You're a tough guy. Want to do it again? I'd love to give it again. It's just not a cut. What'd your kids say? The kids were a little worried, but all I got to do is bring them into the ring and tell them that I'm okay. Is dad okay? Tell the camera. Just tell them you're okay. Tell them I'm okay. My dad's okay. <laughs> there you have it. Proud Papa and a couple of good kids. Good, good performance, just the same. Let's go to ringside and Al Bernstein. Thank you very much, Tony Page. Well, Anthony Bonsante getting through this experience. It certainly was a good one uh, for John Duddy. Gentlemen, your final thoughts on Duddy's performance and maybe what's in the future for him. Maybe Giovanni Lorenzo. Would that be an interesting matchup? Yeah, I think it, it, would, it would be an interesting matchup, but not yet. He needs more time to develop his defense and uh, to work on his defense and to just to stop being so stubborn.
and you know he, he's just he needs to use his boxing skills more but he's a tremendous fighter he sets an enormous pace he's got great punching ability he just has to work on that defense tucking the chin rolling his head and keeping his hands up i mean he made some mistakes and the guy came in from out of town looking to make a name for himself i think he did do that tonight in this fight and uh, i think this uh, fight and the fights all tonight made a lot of people happy here and around the world, especially in Ireland. All right, ple night. pleasure to work with you two gents. Thank Barry you. McGuigan and Jerry Cooney, two greats in the boxing world. And they did a great job here this evening. And uh, it was, in fact, a fun evening. My thanks to Tony Page also for his great contributions to this show. Well, it was an interesting evening of boxing. Irish Andy Lee got things started off here at Madison Square Garden to a festive crowd. An impressive knockout win over Carl Daniels, the veteran. And you, while people like Joe Frazier looked on and traditional dances were held, Giovanni Lorenzo showed his power as well. And finally, in our main event, despite a courageous effort by Anthony Bonsante, John Duddy was able to get the job done. Bruce Rossmeyer.